Let me show you how to import layout to Procreate the right way. Download the layout from the link. Looking for the three bedroom unit. This is the floor plan I can find. It doesn't come with dimension. Let me show you how to scale the drawing regardless. Screenshot the plan. Crop the image. Open Procreate. Create new canvas in screen size. Insert the floor plan just now. Adjust the size of floor plan to fill up the canvas. Turn on the drawing guide. Edit the drawing guide. How to scale a drawing without dimension. A good gauge of the scale is the AC ledge. The AC ledge in Singapore is always one meter deep. Adjust the grid size so that each square side X represents 50 centimeters in the floor. Plan. Done scaling. I decided to trace the floor plan. Reduce opacity of the original layer. Turn on the drawing assist so you could draw a straight line easily. Begin tracing in a new layer. Now I have a clean floor plan to work on. Watch part to video to see how. I insert furniture into the floor plan. Download the Procreate Furniture Stencil from our website. To make sure the stencil share the same scale as your drawing, match the cells with the drawing grid. Select the furniture you want to use in the floor plan. For sofa, I want to explore L-shaped sofa and a two-seater couch. For bed, I opt for a queen-size bed. For dining table, I am choosing between a four-seater or a two-seater round table. Select the furniture and copy them to a new layer. Use cut and paste to separate the furniture into different layers. Now you can easily explore the placement of furniture by moving and rotating the furniture layers. Be careful not to adjust the size of the furniture while you are repositioning them. Watch part three video to see how. I insert the appliances and draw in the new cabinet. Download the Procreate Appliances stencil from our website. Scale the stencil and making sure the stencil share the same scale by matching the cells with the drawing grid. Appliances come with a wide range of sizes. You've got to make sure their dimensions are taken into account when you design your home. Select the appliances I want to use. Copy to the new layer. Use cut and paste to separate the appliances into individual layer. Drawing the carpentry works. The TV console and the work desk for two are back to back while well separated by a screen. Adding the chairs. Kitchen is extended with a knee sliding door. Draw in the countertop. Add in sink. Stove, fridge, washer, laundry rack, and oven. Finally, TV, wardrobe, bedside table. Here's my three bedroom floor layout for the young couple.